Greetings from here at the Hoonigan Racing Headquarters in Park City, Utah. Uh, it's kind of a strange time right now because of uh, what's happening with the COVID-19 virus. So I'm trying to find things to do uh, at home or here in the backcountry or, or here in the shop. Today, uh, we're gonna do an unboxing, the boxing of that box right there uh, with a brand new race suit from Alpine Stars. Uh, but in the meantime, just want to shout out Ford for doing such a great job helping with this medical situation right now by making face masks and respirators. It's rad that uh, they have ramped up their production to help on the medical side with this outbreak. Uh, but that being said, let's open this box. So this is actually shipped to my team director Derek Dante, who lives in England. So it came from Italy to England. Uh, luckily it came actually before uh, all of Italy was shut down because of the virus. Um, and just to explain something real quick, uh, I get, uh, I think Alpine Stars makes me three suits a year. Uh, so this is actually the third suit. I've actually used two suits already uh, in WRC Mexico. And so this is my third suit. So I figured this was a good opportunity to open it up and show you how it actually comes from the factory. So this is one of three, three of three actually. And there we go. Oh, nice Ralph Lauren box. <laughs> Apparently they're Ralph Lauren fans there at uh, that boy's Rose. So, uh, very nice suit bag. Every Alpine Star suit comes in this very nice bag. It has a zipper here that we usually put uh, gloves and balaclavas in. They all are marked. So, there's special markings here for the Alpine Stars has for the driver, for Indian racing, uh, what year the suit is, all that sort of thing. Um, and then there's one main zipper. So, oh wow, look at that. So this is actually the spec form that Alpine Stars uses for each of their suits and chips that even includes photos of it. Let's see the package put together. Well, there you go. So my brand new 2020 race suit uh, by Alpine Stars, made in Italy. So let's go through a few of the details of this thing. And by the way, I've, I've worked with Alpine Stars since almost the beginning of my career. They're a great company, they make a great product. Uh, Gabriel Mazzarolo is a uh, is the founder and owner. He's a real enthusiast. Like I've seen him around the world at various events from WRC races to F1 to MotoGP. And I even raced with him one time on a, a fun race called the One Lap of America. So it's great that, that Gabriel is such an enthusiast and that's why Alpine Stars is the company that it is. So to go through some of the very nice details of this, so. As you can see, the livery designed by Troy Lee and on, on the brand new Kazi uh, features these big stripes on the side of the car. Uh, in 2019, Troy Lee did my livery also, uh, and we had it kind of all over the suit. Uh, a bit brighter, a lot of shades of blues and everything went you know, across the suit. But for this time, we wanted to do something a little more subtle. So that's why we took the colored stripes and put them on the underside of the arms uh, and the underside of the legs. And they're there in the, in the Hoonigan logo, which is on the, the both legs. But you can see it's, it's, a, it's a screen, so it's a very subtle screen across um, the entire suit. So the suit base color there is a flat black, and then this is a gloss, like a glossier black print on top. And then all the the major logos, well, the big monster logos, these are screened also. Might be some sort of um, heat transfer print, but I can't really tell you the details of how they make this, they don't tell me. Uh, the rest of the logos are um, 
embroidered patches that they then sew on. So you can see it there in the Hoonigan and Toyo and the Ford, along with the Alpine Stars. Uh, and this belt is actually fully, fully embroidered. Uh, the suit itself is made out of a Nomex. Uh, a lot of people say uh, fireproof, but the word, the term fireproof is not correct. It's fire resistant. So any fire resistant material is rated for how long it will survive in a fire. So nothing's gonna be fireproof unless you're encased in a metal box. Um, there you can see the inside of the Nomex. That's what it looks like. So the outside is a, a particular type of Nomex, but the, the inside is where you can really see the mesh and see the color. That's a really typical Nomex uh, raw color. So yeah, if you look at the whole suit laid out, you can see top to bottom, kind of how the graphics go from uh, top to bottom, cover basically the entire suit. See the Hoonigan logo across my butt. <laughs> uh, and the Block 43, which is done uh, in the same font and style that Troy Lee does as motocross jerseys for his race team. There are several different types of uh, cuffs on, on race suits. Um, I prefer this sort of cuff that tucks into the, the DC race shoe that I wear. And same with uh, the cuff on the arm, this tucks uh, into the, the Alpine Stars glove that I use. There's other type of styles that, that have a more of like a pant leg style that go over the shoe. I prefer this that tucks into the shoe. And you can see there's several different FIA markings on here that designate uh, the test that's been used on this, the qualification. And there's a couple things in here even uh, like this stamp that they must use. They can actually, all this stuff can be scanned in uh, by an FAA official to make sure that we're wearing, wearing the right equipment. So how about we see this thing on me? Look at some of the team gear that we've uh, made so far. So we just got delivery done a couple months ago, so we've only made uh, a couple items. And of course, I need a team shirt that I wear to all the events, to press conferences, autograph signings, that sort of thing. My favorite one this year is this long sleeve. Uh, a nice 43 on the back. The Hoonigan hit on the sleeve. And the other sponsors on this sleeve, and my skull. Short sleeve version of the same thing. And then just a simple Hoonigan logo, but with the pattern. Looks pretty good. Nice and simple. Nothing on the back. So there's a, a helmet bag. I use this for all my helmets, from snowboarding to, uh, to mountain biking. And this is funny, that these are already made for summer. <laughs> Trunks. And then, as ridiculous as it is, a towel. Nice. All right, well that's it for that suit. Um, let's go check out some other suits. We have some other suits on display upstairs and some in our, what we call our marketing room. So let's go look at those real quick. So here we are up in my office here at Hunnigan Racing. Uh, and I have three suits on display. I had this fantasy of doing this with every one of my race suits every year, but I've only gotten around to making three of them. So it's 2010, 2011, and 2012. So as you can see on the first two, 2011, 2012, was my first year with Ford, uh, and it was one of my favorite liveries we've ever made, the drips. We liked it so much that we evolved it a bit, added some pattern in the background to it for 2011. And then 2012 uh, was a kind of like a, a dried up cracked earth type pattern. So real quick to look at these, uh, 2010 was a pretty rad year. Raced in the Rally America Championship. I did seven events uh, in the WRC and the Ford Focus. 
Uh, but I also did Gymkhana 3 at a very old racetrack in France. So this suit was actually worn when I did one of my favorite tricks, which was in Gymkhana 3, riding up that wall. But that was one of the wildest things I've ever done in a car. And this year, 2011, uh, was a, a pretty wild year. We made Jim Connor 4 at Universal Studios. I raced nine events in WRC that year. I did some rally cross. Um, but that suit, I think, was worn in the worst crash of my career which happened in the shakedown of Portugal. That sucked. <laughs> but, it is what it is, that's racing. Uh, and this suit uh, was used for only about three WRC events that year. So that suit was also uh, used to earn a silver medal in downtown LA uh, in the X Games. But more importantly, Jim Cut of Five. I used the suit for Jim Cut of Five. And the drift jump. So one of my favorite tricks. That suit right there. Also for reference too, uh, back in these days I had a bigger partnership with DC Shoes. So you can see the bigger logos. Uh, on me at that time, Hoonigan was quite small at that time, but DC was big. And you can even see a pair of the very nice DCs that I wore back then. So this was, this pair was actually WRC Mexico. So my WRC debut in, in the top class uh, was in that pair of shoes. I love the large DC logo with the drips that match the livery. So over here, we actually have a... Uh, a room that we keep a lot of different marketing materials in and helmets and a bunch more suits. So as you can see, new shoes, new shoes, all these DCs. I think this is called the DC Prospect 3. Um, here's some samples of a Prospect we never made but I used and abused. And these are all spares for me to use the next couple of years. Oh look, jacket from Jim Connor. Seven. Bunch of helmets from various years, including the brain buckets from Jim Connor 10. Most of these painted by Troy Lee. That one's pretty funny. Apple pie. Monster and gold nice. And even the helmet from Jim Connor 7. So this goes with that jacket. Here you see a bunch of different suits from, you know, various different years are all marked, which has done a great job marking all these and keeping them straight. So what would you like to look at? So we look at, oh, let's look at this one, look at Climb Kana. So this is from the first Climb Kana video. The car itself had a blend on it that went from like a medium gray to a dark gray on the car. So we did it somewhat similar but just with the one gray on it for the suit. So this suit was used for sliding Evo Corner, one of my favorite things I've ever done uh, on a hill climb road like that. But, uh, Let's find something to do in the shop. I've actually wanted to do uh, donuts in the Mark II in here for a while. I, I just, I have nothing else to do with the race cars. We've had two events postponed so far, Barbados and uh, Southern Ohio Rally. So hopefully we're able to do those later in the year. Uh, but for now, I haven't been able to do any race car stuff. So let's go see if we can figure something out. So I think if we just get, all these cars moved and the truck and trailer moved. 
that will give us more room. We have to rearrange some stuff anyway today. So, uh, yeah. I'll do some donuts. Enjoyed those very simple and very fun donuts here in the shop, um, but I feel like I need to do some more things with some more toys around the shop, so I have to figure that out. Uh, but we've been doing more and more in the shop with the kids. We actually stayed in a Momentum trailer over the weekend here in the shop. First time I've actually stayed the night in the shop, and because we were here at night, uh, I had the kids decorate their crazy carts and we turned off all the lights and they ripped around for like a half hour here in the shop and going through a Gymkhana course and destroying it eventually. But it was a lot of fun. So having fun with the kids here in the shop. Something we generally do, but we're doing a lot more here with the uh, quarantine. Anyway, time for me to go. Bye-bye.